Hello, welcome to the Standard Maths Advanced Knowledge Poem of the Week. In this week's poem, we're giving the force field F, and we're being asked to find the three-dimensional curl. Uh, so in order to find the three-dimensional curl, um, we're going to have to set up um, a matrix and then take the uh, determinant of the matrix. So first, uh, let's set up our matrix. So when we set up our matrix, uh, you should have the i, j, k vectors up on the top, and then um, your partial derivative um, operators, so uh, partial derivative with respect to x, y, z, and then um, the x, y, z components of uh, the force field F um, in the bottom row. Uh, so now let's start um, taking the determinant. So uh, when you set this up, um, you're going to take uh, first uh, you know, look um, at the matrix without the I row or without this, or without this row and without the I column. Um, so you're going to take the partial derivative of uh, 5xe uh, squared, or 5xe to the z um, plus uh, y squared and take that partial derivative with respect to y. Uh, so in this case, it's going to be 2y. Um, and here, you're going to take the partial derivative of 3x plus 3y squared times z squared with respect to z. Um, so that's going to give you um, 6y squared z. So we get 2 minus 6y squared z. And that's how we get our x component. Um, and so you're going to do that same, that same process for each one of these until you get um, your final three-dimensional curl, which is 2y minus 6y squared uh, times z, uh, and then the y component, negative 5e to the z, uh, plus 3x squared. And then finally, the z component um, comes out to just be uh, 5. So this is going to be your final answer for the three-dimensional curl. Um, so that concludes this week's Advanced Knowledge Poem. Uh, make sure you check us out on Facebook and Twitter, and take a look at our blog at centerofmath.org.